red box, but it's red. I know that's kind of weird, right? They changed them to red or orange a while back because when the plane crashes and you need to find this thing, it's hard to find. We are about to go out into the middle of nowhere and test this thing out and see how durable and how strong it really is. You're ready for the adventure? Here we go! Ah! This is it guys, this is what we do. Let's go blow past all these jets, shall we? <laughs> we wanted to come out here with our buddy York. He has a YouTube channel and he's on Instagram at iFlyHeli. We have a couple of things here. First, we have this that we're going to drop off from, I don't even know how many feet yet. Well, I guess we'll have to decide that. But we're gonna drop this out. We also have this guy. This is a watermelon with the GoPro on it that York's son put together last night. He said, is it okay if we bring this out here and drop it? And I Absolutely. said, well, why wouldn't we do that? That's amazing. <laughs> you can see all these lava flows going on out here. And from this altitude, it looks like it's oh, maybe manageable to walk across. When we get down low, it's just jagged and sharp and you're going nowhere. We've just landed in a helicopter on Mars. I don't know how we landed on it. Let's check this out. Zoom in on this guy. 107 degrees. New York found us an actual jet that had crashed. This is a whole, what it looks like that? a shock. It's the landing gear from the plane. There's debris scattered throughout this whole stretch of this rocky land. That is so heavy. Is it pretty heavy? <laughs> Here's the biggest chunk of the plane that we found that's not part of the engine. And look at this logo on it. It's the old US white star, blue circle around it, the red stripe on it. For those of you that don't know, a black box is a flight data recorder. It measures and tracks the audio, the, the, where the plane is going, what the pilots are saying, and everything so that when a plane does crash, they can take a look at all of the data and find out what actually happened. These boxes have to be very, very strong because Look at this wreckage. This is an engine. It's destroyed. We are going to go in the helicopter and fly up in the air and throw it out of the helicopter onto this hard lava ground and see so if it even hard. busts open. Here we go. Experiment in the lava fields is about to commence. Da, 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 da. We put a little yellow cloth down there so we can see our target because it'd be probably easy to miss it. Okay, so look at that watermelon. Here's the, oh my goodness, it's got demolished. There's the case for it. I see part of the case. Listen for the beeping. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is, Lincoln. It's, I pushed the button, it just says zero. <laughs> Whatever that means. What's your son's name? Emerson. Emerson. Emerson, I don't know if your, your uh, session survived, um, but it was, <laughs> it was the perfect thing. It hit right there on the target. Well, close to it, come on. Yeah. Who's gonna take a bite of this? York's going for it. <laughs> it's actually really good right now. Lincoln, have a bite, buddy. It is so hot out here, it's nice. 108 degrees. Oh, I'm Don't need to part with mud on it. Yeah, there you go. Here we go. Here it is. Oh. This thing was 500 feet in the air and we dropped it on this hard lava rock and it, there's not one indention at all. It's just scratch the paint. I was terrified as I like threw that thing out. When I threw this out, I got about this far and I started coming back. 
so wimpy, but let's get back to civilization and get a saw and see if we can cut this thing open. Let's see if we can, because I don't know if that's possible. We have the flight recorder right there. There's a saw. It's all beat we're, up though. <laughs> it is beat up. But we're at York's house. We're gonna see if we can cut this thing open with this chop saw. He's nice enough to give it to us. Um, but check out his garage. He's got quite the setup yeah, in here. One wheels. One wheels. Shondaris, you'd love that. <laughs> I don't have a lot of confidence in this, but you know, we'll see. All right, let's see if this will uh, make any progress on it. Like a sparkler. We well, put a little hole in the top too to pump for it. Whoa. Fancy. Look how deep the cut is. Are you surprised, York? Yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed. See how far that goes in? That's just all metal. That's so much metal. Okay, well, let's keep on going. Yeah, we're. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, we're in it pretty good. That was actually. It still looks like it's straight metal, though. Something There's a little. It looks like a golf ball core. There's oh, a little yeah. green core inside. We have cut around the entire thing except for that little corner, that little part. It's about an inch left. This is impressive. We're making it. I think we got it. Check this out. What? Flight recorder, do not open. Uh oh. <laughs> so what do we do? We cut the thing in half. <laughs> we opened it. This is the outer layer of thick, thick metal. And then this is kind of a hard, hard putty clay type stuff. This one's a lot softer. Well, whenever you see a plane crash, um, there's a couple things they look for. Uh, they want to know what was the flight path, how fast was it going, what different sensors were going off, and by storing it all on these flight data recorders, they're able to pull all that data off and they can put it into the computer system and then really just show exactly what happened at the flight. Screwdriver, hammer, let's get this green goo out of there. Look at this. See even, oh, look at that. Whoa. There's a good chance that this is part cushioning to keep the chip from getting damaged from the fall and then also part, um, just insulation for heat and cooling purposes. Oh, Boom. Wow, all of that space. Look how much of the space in there. There's chip, it looks like any ordinary chip like you'd find in the TV or things like that. Well, this is half of it and that's it. This little tiny chip is why we have this giant box but this little tiny chip is super, super important. Not all black boxes are gonna be the same, so there's going to be some differences between them. Unfortunately, planes do crash, and fortunately, we do have the technology that they can find the information that can answer some questions. So we've been going on a lot of trips lately, and it's been a ton of fun. We saw our gold play button video where we traveled the world. We're going on another trip, and it's going to be in Iceland, July 20th. And it, there's an amazing concert. The video is playing right here. You can see it. LG is sending us there and they're doing this awesome project with the Northern Lights. It should be very cool. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. But the best part is they're sending one winner and a friend to go to this concert, flight, hotel, everything. All the details are in the link in the description below. But we want you guys to go click on the link, see what you have to do. And if you want to, go onto the Facebook or go onto their website and you can submit to potentially win. And we would love to see you in Iceland at this amazing concert. I'm so excited to see it. And if some of you guys that are watching live in Iceland, just know that July 20th we're gonna be there and we'll do a fan meetup somewhere around there. So hope you enjoyed what's inside of a flight data recorder. It was a lot of fun. Check out the LG Iceland trip and I hope that we get to see you guys there. Yippee! <laughs>